before this video begins, I'm not trying to hate on anybody, but if you are the shining example of any of the following in this video, then I mean this in the most disrespectful way possible. You are scum. Hello, Elements. Welcome to another video. With quarantine still being the issue of everyone's lives, staying online and away from people is currently the main goal, whether it be spending time on social media or just staying at home sleeping. If it's one thing I like to do with my time during quarantine, which I humbly regret to this very second, it's online role plays. Because without them, our weebly imaginations could not think of fanfics for archives of our own and lemons for fanfiction.net. This is mostly targeted on social media a couple of us know about called Amino. This could also go for Discord, DeviantArt, it just depends on where you roleplay, some of the same rules apply. I have had the liberty of roleplaying in both group and 1x1s, and I'm gonna say some could have been better than others, and some were just hard as hell to look at. This just goes for some of my experiences and some of my friends' experiences with the app and what kinds of roleplay issues they get into with their counterpart. But this is only going to focus on 1x1. This can also pertain to group roleplays as well, so let's get into it. This mostly happens when the fanbase has way more underage females playing guys than guys playing guys behind the screen. They like roleplays involving gay ships, poly ships, and even hetero ships, and I don't judge. I'm not saying guys aren't prone to do this, I've just never seen any guys walk into roleplay as Kirishima, see a Bakugo, and then out of character ask, hey, do you want a ship? I'll ship with only Bakugo, etc. Nothing wrong with asking, it's just the ongoing part of when you're already in roleplay as said person, and because you don't want a gay ship or ship at all with anyone, you just want a vibe. You're ridiculed. I feel so bad for all the Shoto and Bakugo role players out there. To be honest, how flooded are your DMs? I have seen this happen before with my very eyes. I'm gonna add in, in a royal roleplay AU. The Knight of the South was Bakugo, and the North King was Izuku. Just because Bakugo said no to shipping with Izuku, since Bakugo, again, just wanted to vibe, Deku started acting a flim fool and killed his side of the roleplay because he refused to ship. You can roleplay, just don't force ship some people. We laugh about the North King every day for his rejection because I've never seen such a child. You also need to note that in this specific AU, the North and South were deemed enemies and it just made no sense in the roleplay if any of that happened anyways. If you're on an OC Amino server, I don't know if this applies, but speaking on servers based on anime specifically such as Naruto Sonic or the one that I'm going to be nitpicking at My Hero, you log on, make an account with an uncannon ship kid. Don't know what an uncannon ship kid is? For example, Shoto and Momo have a kid and you're that kid. It's not canon to the anime, but you're it because it's fun to ship an anime and we think they'll potentially be together. There's no problem with doing that, depends on the context. Role playing as said kid already has two issues since Shoto and Momo are only fictional minors in high school, but you also need to keep in mind when joining a roleplay, the only thing that OC is going to be good for is second generation based roleplay chat rooms only, where the parents of that kid are either not present or old as endeavor. It's mad rage inducing when I see a ship kid that enters a chat and they're as old as the main character they're a ship kid to and they're calling Shoto dad or Momo mom because that's their character's canon parents. Either you be a gen kid with the looks and keep the fact that you're an uncanny kid to yourself and don't disturb other role players unless they allow you, or you could PICK ANOTHER CHARACTER?! There are so many characters you could be in the My Hero franchise. Class B is an option, but you choose this one shining example of what not to do while roleplaying solely a ship kid. You don't know how many Bakugo x Izuku ships I've seen, and people playing them got the nerve to base the image off of their profile picture. A gacha club character. Yank a f***ing image off of Google, don't for the love of God. Girls, let me say this to you, my men, you can listen and understand well. You do not need to have intercourse in order to have a good roleplay. I don't know why everyone forgets about this unwritten law of roleplay. Amino does not condone it, but I'm looking at you, Discord. As a minor or someone curious in general, 18 plus roleplays may seem like something you'd want to get into, but let's face it, it just makes you hard to look at after it's done, and the chat gets so awkward. Oh. If the thought of making another account to do all the dirty stuff on and keeping your alt safe is a smart idea, the MHA Amino can track to see if a specific IP has another account and you'll just have two band accounts and look- I don't care if it's text, we all have common sense to know what it is. Is, if you love your account, you shouldn't be trying to get you and others banned due to ERP. If you don't want this type of thing to happen and it has potentially happened to you, here are a few tips on how you should avoid them from happening ever again and protect your roleplay genity. Stay out of areas that involve awkward situations to evolve. These areas are usually in private places to go to such as bedrooms if you by any chance are at a beach and you go into the changing room. Have your character you're playing as wear their swimsuit under their clothes. And in most cases, stay away from the forest and most definitely a bathroom. Understand that if they're being hella persistent, you have the option to stay and fight, meaning you're going along 
with it. Or you can talk out of character and tell them to stop. Alert them how uncomfortable you're feeling. If all fails and you think talking out of character will just kill the vibe... In PMs, there's a nice little button that shows up when you click your profile picture. It says, leave chat. If you're having issues with someone, leave. No one says you're obligated to take their sh- I suggest being aware of the person you're roleplaying with first. If you set your roleplay boundaries ahead of time, then you don't have to worry much. It's way helpful if you have a roleplay wiki discussing your roleplay rules involving your do's and don'ts. Those help to stop attracting that kind of roleplayer versus this one. It's not 100% effective, but you set your ground rules early so they can't be ignorant to your roleplay rules, and whether you enforce them or not, they're set. There are four roleplay types that I'm aware of, and if you know nothing about roleplay types, then I'll help you out by going over the three that we need to know about for this video, but that'll be in the description. But seriously, pause and click if you don't know the three. Back to my point. Raise the like button if you ever ran into a roleplay where you're the only semi-lit one, and everyone else is a one-liner, and they cut into every sentence you try to type because they're impatient to wait for your paragraph. This is the reason I have roleplay rules. I make it known that I'm a semi-lit roleplayer, and that you must be at least semi me lit in order to roleplay with me. No one-liners. I'm actually literate, but that takes too much time normally. It just gets so frustrating when I run into people wanting to 1v1 roleplay, and after I pour my heart out into a paragraph, then send it, all they message is, Asterisk takes cookie and eats it, Asterisk thanks you. Or I'm in the middle of writing my paragraph, and this illiterate person becomes impatient and starts typing again, then I gotta change my whole gosh darn paragraph. I'd rather listen to one professional role player than five one-liners trying to dump on me. Let them know in advance so this isn't your problem later, or use your roleplay wiki to your advantage. By under no circumstances should you or anyone else be railroading a roleplay. If you have no clue what that is, it's to the extent of controlling someone else's character, not with permission, but by your own god modding right you think you have. All in all, you're not giving them a right to roleplay as their character. Basically what I'm saying is, if you do this, then you're better off roleplaying with yourself. On the image of Amino, I've had my fair share of being railroaded, and if you saw what this bombarding gaslighter did, you'd be mad. You'd be mad that I actually stayed with this dude for a week. Some people don't understand the extent to their full power. If your quirk is not brainwashing or mind control, don't freaking do it. Even with that power like Shinzo, he still has his limitations. They don't forget everything forever, it comes back once you hit them. Even with that brainwashing, he can't brainwash them to use any brain power, they're only half useless. If another character hits the person you're playing as, but they add something like this to the end of it, not giving you a full chance to write what you would have done in this extent, that's railroading. This is also one of the ways how topic number three is a big old issue. If it's a railroader looking to bang, leave them alone. It's not hard to find new roleplay partners that isn't absolute garbage. Just find someone with similar rules and standards to yours. This is to the extent if you don't want to be a cannon or an OC, be a freaking crossover. This is not okay to do to full extent in some aminos, but it's banned in some because of so much confusion. It's fine if you use a crossover's profile picture and name yourself something different with a different whole backstory, power, etc. In the My Hero Amino, OCs. OCs usually come with a Wikipedia so you know their age, genders, pros and cons. Even if they use a Google image or personally have a profile image drawn by an amino artist, it works. Or gotcha club. With the canons, they don't need a wiki because everyone knows who you are. The reason why most crossover characters are not allowed is because you can't make a Wikipedia on someone who's already canon to another original character in another fandom. And I I can agree because once I was face to face with a role player, he was some character. It wasn't in the MHA anime, nor was the roleplay an alternate universe theme, and since he wasn't an OC or canon to my hero or anime at all, I had no clue who this guy was, so I just quit the roleplay two hours in, it got boring because I had no clue who I was roleplaying with. Till I looked it up and like, it's just that went freaking Darth Vader not yeah. even an anime. Quick note, romance is not a roleplay plot. If the roleplay goes down that road and happens naturally, then that's fine. If you ask for romance to be our roleplay plot, leave me alone. There's nothing wrong with romance. It just falls into the box of a forced ship as if it's you have no option, it must be romance in order to count as our plot. I think disregarding fantasy, you cannot make a genre a plot. A roleplay plot would be something like this, something you could roleplay off of. Something with substance. Instead of saying romance directly, try a plot that will mostly consist of romance. I don't know, forced marriage, hanahaki, well, no, I hate that and it sucks, but <clears throat> day at the beach or just some place 
where you are mostly going to be around this one person. A prom-based school plot, even. Because the moment a show toes in a PM with you, I know how excited you all get. Don't force this man to love you. He may be your Prince Charming, but you ain't his Snow White. You gotcha club character. Let me know in the comments if you had any roleplay experience that were just straight bad or you can't believe it happened the way it did. Try to keep it family friendly, bad words are censored, and let me know by commenting below about it. I like reading them. Thanks for letting me waste your time, now get lost.